those living in Palestine today, with all due respect, the entire ummah can be put on one side and compare one of those people with us today, and the iman can never be matched. Wallahi, you can't match the iman. The Muslim today that lives in America, he finds it hard to contribute $10 a week to Palestine, to the people of Palestine. And how much does a person in Palestine, how much does a child in Palestine live off per month? How much does it charge to call, to, to, how much does it cost to sponsor a child of Palestine per day? Do you know? Do you know how much these people live off per day, per, per, per day? Two dollars per day. Two dollars per day these people live off. And all that is required is you and I give sixty dollars a month to these people, and these people can enjoy themselves, they can live their day, they can live their lives. But the Muslim across the world, he's so busy doing whatever he wants to. He's so busy enjoying himself, he's too busy with his nice big TVs, He's too busy watching and buying Bollywood movies and getting the weekly Bollywood movie and buying all the weekly songs and going to the movies and buying a nice car and ensuring his wife has a separate car, he has a separate car, his child has a separate car, his son has a different laptop, he has another laptop, his son has a different phone, he has another phone, the wife has another phone. He's so busy with all these luxuries that he can't care about that young child who's waking up every morning wondering where is his food going to come before he goes to sleep at night. And he sees his mother there and the mother's crying because she can't feed her child. And the father, he doesn't know if he's going to see his child the next morning. And what happens is that all of the children are taken away and they're locked away in a prison. And then what happens is they take one child and they slaughter that child and he's dead. The oppression has limits. These individuals are living off dates. If even that much. How many Muslims are living on the Gaza Strip? How many? Who can give a figure here? How many? Two million more or less living on such a small area, in concentration camps. Every single morning, these individuals, these two million Muslims, they wake up looking at the sky thinking, that when are we going to have a roof over our head again? Every single morning, these Muslims, Wallahi, they do. If we're humans, they're humans too. If me and you have dreams, those individuals have dreams too. If, they have brother, if we have brothers and sisters, they have brothers and sisters too. If we as parents can't live without providing for our children, Wallahi, that mother, imagine what goes to her mind, what goes to her heart when she sees her child waking up every morning hungry and starving every night to sleep. These people, the iman they have is beyond imagination. If they leave their religion, it's simple. If they, really, if they, if they accept, if, if the people in, in Gaza right now, if they said that we were Christians, what's going to happen? You'll probably be shipped away to another country and they're gone, enjoy your life and have a nice time. But their iman is so valuable to them. So valuable that you can take my life, you can take my land, you can take my property, you can take whatever you want to, you can't take my deen from me. 